doctors are watching a Logan man tonight at a Salt Lake hospital. He's the one who was rescued by about a dozen people from that fiery crash we showed you earlier. Yeah, his motorcycle collided with a car off Highway 89 and left him pinned beneath the car. And immediately, people just rushed in to help as his motorcycle burst into flames. New specialist Mike Anderson joins us from Murray. And Mike, they probably saved this guy's life. Yeah, that's exactly what police are saying. You know, 21-year-old Brandon Wright is here at Intermount Medical Center, and uh, if those people hadn't stepped in, things could have been a lot worse. And while there was possible danger from fire and possible explosion, those witnesses say they could have just stand by and watch. Is someone under the vehicle? A motorcycle quickly becomes engulfed in a fire. Police say the rider was coming down Highway 89 when this black BMW pulled into the road crossing his path. Saw what was taking place in front of him, laid the motorcycle down in an effort to keep from colliding with the vehicle. Instead, police say 21-year-old Brandon Wright ended up pinned underneath the car as his cycle burst into flames. It was very hot, just hot and kind of dangerous. I thought it would be like, like close to explode. Anwar Sununikov says he and several others, including students and construction workers, watched it unfold. They called for help, but... If we late, we could lose him. Rather than stand by, the group gathered together, pushing the vehicle over and pulling right to safety. Police say he wasn't wearing a helmet. It was very tall fire. So when I lifted the car, it was very, very hot in there. Looking at the charred wreckage afterward, police say the group may have saved Brandon Wright's life. The accident took place across from a Utah State University dormitory. I'm impressed that that many people would get involved, especially where there's fire involved, um, the possibility of explosions and everything else. Still, Anbar says he and the several others did only what they had to. I'm not here. As emergency responders move in to help, Wright finally starts to show signs of life. Before I pull it, he wasn't breathing. When I pull it, he started to breathe. Something that may not have been possible if this group of onlookers didn't step in and help. My rescuers, they did a great job of, of getting him um, the help that he needed. I just was in the right moment to help him. And Wright is list, was listed here in stable but critical condition as he went into surgery early uh, tonight. And uh, we're told that many of his family members are here eagerly awaiting to see how he does. But again, those emergency responders say that uh, if those rescuers hadn't stepped in, it could have been a lot worse here. Well, yeah, they jumped into action at the right time. Thanks, Mike.